Okay, so here's what I got for you. This is uh, your Ninja here. Um, pulled the wheel off, axle is out as you can clearly see. And uh, inside, this is where the wheel bearing would be. You can see that there's a pretty orange cover in there. And then uh, to test a wheel bearing, you want to put your finger inside this hole and turn the actual bearing surface itself. You can see that. And you want to feel for any consistencies, any roughness. And if it's rough, then chances are the bearing is bad. And if it's smooth, then the bearing is good. The best way to check if a bearing is bad is actually based on a pain threshold that's built into most humans. And it's right here on your thumb. Um, you'll see right here on the top of my nail, this first knuckle, if you go ahead and take your fingernail of your own hand and you dig it in here, trust me, you're going to get a message real fast that you're not comfortable. So you use this pain threshold to check a bearing by simply sticking your finger in there and turning it. You see how my whole thumb, whole wrist turns. And if I feel pain or roughness in that surf, in that top knuckle part, I'm definitely going to know. And right now I'm telling you that bearing is perfect. Let's go over to the other side. Let's switch hands here. Um, this is a wheel spacer. This just comes right off. And then there's a bearing in here. This is a carrier bearing. I'm gonna stick my thumb in there. Same check. Feels really good. Let's pull this guy off and get to the bearing below it. You can see there's that orange cover. Same as the one on the other side. I'm gonna stick my finger in there and check this one. This bearing is great, and you can also tell by the cleanliness that the bearing itself is relatively new. So in my opinion, um, I don't think you need wheel bearings at all. We're going to change out your rear brake pads because they're pretty skinny as it is. Um, they should be clean, and these ones are filthy, and whoops, and there's probably like a good, I don't know, 11% left there. So let's change these. But uh, your wheel bearings are good, and as far as your chain and sprockets are concerned, a bad sprocket, golly... This doesn't appear to me like a bad sprocket. I'm just gonna wipe off some of this just so we get a little bit of a clearer view here. I apologize for how messy everything is, but we're not sending faxes here. Okay, so in my opinion, this, uh, use this for background. For my opinion, I think that this sprocket has got a good, mm, I'd say 60% life left on it. I know it's hard to tell because it's filthy, but uh, in earnest, I really think that this um, with this rear sprocket is good. Um, I haven't checked the front sprocket yet. Usually there's more of an identification tell to be determined by just looking at the front sprocket. But based on the rear, based on the fact that the bearings are good, based on the fact that somebody else told you that these things were not good, I'm kind of thinking that you don't need to change this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I really do believe this. Okay, so let's just do the last measurement of knowing whether or not your chain and sprockets needs to be good. I'm just going to put the bike up a bit here. All right. <clears throat> so this is where your wheel axle would have gone right through, right through the other side and held the wheel right in position. And this is a lock nut and this is an adjuster nut. And you can see that if I push this all the way in like this, it can't go any further because the lock nut in this whole mechanism is preventing it from moving in this direction. And actually, what we're looking for is how much room you have going this way, right? Towards the end of the swing arm, not the front of the swing arm. And you could tell, even by centering, you're like a little bit past 50%, right? Like if this was centered, if it went that way, it could move a little bit more in this direction. Clean all this off. To, um, to to make it centered, but you still have, oh man, I a little under 50% left, you know? I don't know. I, I think somehow someone's been misleading you. I'm going to send you this video. We'll talk about this, but um, in earnest, if, if this was my bike, I would continue to ride on these chain and sprockets, and I continue using those wheel bearings, not the new ones, and the brake pads, absolutely. I would totally change those. But um, everything else, 